Hello, everyone. Oh, this is Michelle Litwiller. It is Wednesday, September 23rd. And I am here for our online card class. So I've had a little bit of a problem trying to log on. My internet wasn't working. My program wasn't working. Something wasn't working. But I am here now. So I'm a little flustered with technology at the moment. But um, here we are. And I'm also flustered because uh, my kids are like, you have to be done at 2 o'clock because we have, uh, they have online uh, virtual classes anyway. So I'm so happy to be here. Thank you for joining me this afternoon. Make sure you say hi when you hop on here. I am just trying to pull up, um, I'm trying to pull up this and clear my thoughts right now. So we are in the right thing. I have four cards to make with you today. I'm, I'm, I'm very excited about that. I think you're going to like them. And what else? I have an awesome ordering special. There's a stamp sale. There's so much going on today. So I'm just posting this over in my group really fast. And we're going to get started. So hi, Marsha. I thought I saw Deb. This, I don't know. If any of you are in my group that's called card class with owl star stampers if one of you could share this in there i would really appreciate it it is uh i don't know what's going on with my internet today or i don't know i i just can't get anything to work technology thank you renee I'm ready for fall. I put in these earrings that I feel a little self-conscious wearing. Just to, My daughter was like, they look good, but they're a little big mom. And I'm like, I know. That's why I don't know if I should wear them. But they kind of go with the, sh the fall shirt. So whatever. I'm, I'm going with it today. So, um, yeah, I'll show you the cards we're going to make. I still am trying to share this over in my group, and it's not working. <sighs> All right, I really want this in that group. Why, why? All right, whatever. I guess it's not getting shared over there. Linda, my friend Linda, can you, uh, would you or could you share this in my group called Card Class with Owl Star Stampers and let me know. Linda, Linda, my Linda that's in my team, Linda. <laughs> let me know. I would appreciate it. Um, okay. All right. So here are, we're doing four all occasion cards today. And we're using some, we're using three stamp sets that are in sale Today, today there is a 24-hour flash sale through Stampin' Up, and I posted the stamps. They're selected stamps, and they are 15% off. So you can save a little bit of money today if you want to order um, any of the select stamps that are 15% off. And so I'm using three of them today. And then I have some other samples to show you of cards that we've made with some of the stamp sets that are on sale. I also have a beautiful card showing you one of our embossing folders. And so that should be really, it should be really fun today. So the ordering special real quick. And then we, thank you, Dar, Darlene. Uh, I appreciate that. Okay, the ordering special for today, I know a lot of you have ordered already. I don't know if you're on here or not, but I've gotten a few orders coming through already. So I will recognize you in that card class with Owl Star uh, Stampers. Um, again, I wasn't able to log into that one, uh, so we're here. Uh, but the ordering special is, if you want to place at least a $30 order with this host code, I'll put it up, that's a D, D-Y-2-7, a N F B, then I'm going to send you a set of the make and takes that we're going to make 
today. And then, okay, look at we're gonna make an easel card today with a snowman. It's gonna be awesome. Um, so you'll get all the pieces to make these four cards. So you will have to have the stamps and ink. You can substitute with stamps and ink that you have. Um, so, uh, or you can buy the stamps and ink if you don't have them already. But that's for today. So if you order at least $30 with the host code, I'm going to send you a set of these make and takes, one of each. So you're going to get four cards in the mail. If you bump your order up to at least $50, you're also going to get a package of the rhinestones because I'm using them on a lot of the cards today. So that's awesome. That's my little thank you to you. And, and there's more. You're also going to get four already homemade cards from me tucked in your package as well. So they're just going to be random cards from my card rack. Here's an example though. Like you'll probably get at least one Christmas card and just like some different cards, four of them in your pack as well for at least a $50 order. Now if your order gets up to a $150 order, I always like to remind you that you get the host reward. So you're going to get at least $15 free. Um, so don't use the host code and you'll still get all of this stuff um, as a thank you for me. Um, real quick too, um, we have a starter kit that is on sale this month that ends at the end of the month. And you get in the starter kit two stamp sets, two free stamp sets, uh, actually a pack of rhinestones and 16 uh, cards to create or do a class with and that's only $99 plus tax and you pick out $125 worth of products of your choice so if you are interested in that you love stamping up products as much as me let me know and I can help you out with that as well all right I'll go over the ordering special again at the end we're gonna get started and then when we're done with our cards if I have time I'm going to show you I have literally a stack of cards showing off some of the samples from the stamps that are on sale today, the 15% off stamp sale. Okay, so let's um, let's get started then. All right, is everyone is everyone here? Thank you so much for sharing that over there. Uh, I appreciate it. Thank you, Linda. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm excited about today. That's why I was getting so flustered with my internet issues. I don't have time for internet issues today. All right, so our first card that we're going to make is going to be this one right here. Do you see how pretty it is? Um, there's a little bit of embossing. Um, anyway, this is a card we're going to make first. And this card... So all your supplies are going to come like this in an envelope. You'll have the ribbon in there too. And um, so you'll just get to stamp them. And I emboss everything and I'll punch out everything like that as well. All right, what we need the early espresso ink pad. And this is a stamp set we're using, Country Home. So Country Home is a stamp set that is 15% off. It is one of my favorites. Some of you, a lot of you probably already have it, but if not, it makes such beautiful cards. This stamp right here is one of my all-time favorite stamps. It says, so grateful for someone like you in my life. And that's actually the stamp we're using today, but I love this little, these little cans and this like pitcher, and you can put the flowers, um, stamp it in top. It's a photopolymer set. And then you can color it in. And I will show you. Do you see how stained up? This really means that I really do like this set when it is all stained up. I've used it a lot. And then here is the stamp we're using today. It is clearly stained up too. But anyway, this is one of the stamps sets that is on sale um, today, today only. So we're using the greeting. So again, for this card, if you don't have the stamp set or you'd rather buy something else, um, you just need a greeting for this card. So we're starting out with a thick whisper white base. And also if you ordered in the last few days with that host code, you are gonna get in on the deal. So I know I saw like my friend Deb on here. So Deb, that's you. And there was like, I think two other people. So you'll still get the card kit in the mail. 
So here's our base, and then I have a piece of Whisper White that is embossed with that textured embossing folder right there. And again, I'll emboss that for you. And so we're gonna have that. Then I took one of my favorite packs of paper. It comes in a really big um, stack. The Tasteful Touches, I think is what it's called. Um, there's a lot of like textured pieces in there. It's a 12 by 12 stack and I just have a wood grain piece that is three inches by four inches. Oh, see, I'm so scatterbrained. Um, you also get a tutorial with all the pictures, dimensions, and directions to put these together as well um, if you decide to order today. And then I have these pieces right here. This is cut out with my Stitch So Sweetly dies in Early Espresso. And then I have a piece of just Whisper White that is going to fit in there perfectly. So that's what we need to get started. And let's get started then. So, on this little white piece at the bottom, we're going to stamp our greeting in Early Espresso ink. And I have my mat because it's photopolymer. And look, I already got ink on me, so I'm going to wipe that off so I don't mess up my card because there's a lot of white here. Thank you so much for sharing. I really appreciate you sharing uh, this video so much. It lets other people join us, and um, I really appreciate you helping me that way. All right, we're just stamping this at the bottom. Let me push this up. So there it is, it fits perfectly in here. And now we're going to clear this off with our Stampin' Shammy. Look at how used mine is. Still works great, just add some water, rinse it out. And we're going to layer this together. I totally forgot to grab a new adhesive. So, I'm just going to use this. No, nope, this has none in it too. Mm -hmm. Oh, I do have one. Okay. I do have an adhesive here. So we're going to stamp this here, or layer this here. And we're going to layer this piece of wood paper to the bottom of our textured piece right here. Um, just like this. Now before we attach this to our card base, we're going to take, bring in this really pretty, it's gingham checked bumblebee ribbon. And so this bumblebee ribbon you get, um, it's one of our new in color. So it's really pretty. And it was on back order for a while, but it's back in stock. So I am using it today and I'm wrapping it around that seam. And I'm going to tie a bow off to the side. So I will give you a piece of ribbon to tie your bow. Linda just ordered this Stitch So Sweetly dies yesterday. Linda, you will not regret it. I have two sets of them because I use them so much for my classes. I need two sets so I can run uh, multiples at the same time. <laughs> not everyone needs two sets, but I need two sets of those. Two sets of uh, some of those basic ones because I do a lot of die cutting. Did you guys see the picture I posted the other day? Um, I cut like almost like 800 cards. I don't even know what day it was. Monday? It was fun though. It was super fun. So there we have our bow. It's kind of big. You can make it smaller. Actually, I might make it a little bit smaller because we're going to add a flower on here. It's a little bit big. I'm gonna trim that down. All right, now we're going to um, pop this up with dimensionals on the back. You don't have to. Um, if you want it flat, just add it flat. I'm gonna add some dimensionals on the back. And that ribbon is so pretty, Renee, I agree. Okay, this is gonna come here. And my inspiration was this card. This was actually a card I received in the mail from my friend. I'll show you her card because I literally only changed the sentiment. That was it. Um, this piece is gonna go down flat. And so I just wanna encourage you, if you haven't sent a card in a long time, to do one, like surprise somebody because it was so fun to open up my mailbox and 
it, mine had a little even like present in there with it. But um, yeah, it was so fun. So this is the Bumblebee cardstock and this is our medium daisy punch, the medium. It's the smaller of the two. And I'm gonna punch out two of those. One, two. And then I already punched out a half inch circle of early espresso. Now our half inch circle punch, unfortunately retired. I tried to give you guys a lot of warning to buy it because you're still gonna need it for some flower centers. If you don't have one, um, just use a hole punch or something to get your little center. I'm looking for my mini blue dots, which are right here. And I'm going to layer these together. This is gonna make like a pretty little sunflower type flower. So I'm just put one little glue dot on the back, just like this. And then I'm gonna put a dimensional on the center to pop it up. So this goes on the center. This would just be, I just can think of so many people I would send that to. Look at that. You can also take your bone folder and gently curl the edges. I mean, if you put it in an envelope, it's going to get squashed, but it looks pretty for right now. And then we're going to put another dimensional on the back. And then it's almost done. To finish it off, we're going to take some rhinestones. Rhinestones, rhinestones. And I'm going to take my dark soft suede Stampin' Blunt. I'm going to be very, very careful. And I'm going to color these with the brush tip to make them almost like a golden color. So that's why I love our rhinestones is you can take, because this is a permanent marker. This is alcohol base. And you can um, color those in and change the color. So then we're going to take our take your pick tool and I am going to, I'm going to actually use a pointy end and try to pick that up and I'm going to position a few of these rhinestones over here. So just like this. I think I'm going to use my putty. It should be dry. I'm going to put one up there. So there is our first card. So there is that. I love the little rhinestones let me know what you think of that one here's the one well i don't know where it is i here's the one i got in the mail so it just used a different piece of wind green at the bottom and it says so lucky to have a friend like you so you could change the sentiment out and there's no rhinestones on this one and it looks just as cute so there is our first card for today all right, well, I moved this stuff out of the way. And again, the Country Home is an awesome stamp set that's 15% off today. So there's that as well. Okay, here we go. Moving on to our next card. Oh, I'm glad you guys love it. I love your hearts. Love, love, love. I don't want to put these somewhere where I miss them. Speaking of sending cards, I'm going to share with you something very personal to me. Um, as I was looking for some cards to show you today for, you know, the cards that are on sale, I found I found these. They're up on a little display I have in my studio down here in my basement. So do you see these cards right here? These cards are cards that my mom made me. And those of you that don't know me, my mom passed away almost 10 years ago. In October, it'll be 10 years. She was pretty young. She was 52. And she is the one that got me into stamping and introduced me to Stampin' Up. And we had stamp parties and lots of fun stuff. But anyway, um, she made me these cards and I obviously kept them. And I just, I just love, I love that our cards like can, um, can just, they just mean so much to people. This was actually the last card she ever made me. And that's why she did handwriting because she was really sick. And um, she was like thanking me for helping her. And I bought her stamps for her birthday. So that's what this was for. Anyway, um, people just like cherish your cards that you make. Um, a lot of people do anyway. And so that's why I want you to send a card too is because they really do brighten people's day and they can mean a lot to people. 
Our next card we're gonna make is a, um, well, I have it right here. Let's do this one. Smoky Slate. All right, we're gonna be using some really pretty stuff. So this stamp set is not on sale, but it is one that I, I really love for Christmas. It's called Four Unto Us. It's in our Christmas book. And I totally kind of got my idea from this card right here. So this stamp set is $21 and it's on page 35. And so do you see how they emboss the gold with this evergreen forest embossing folder? You need this if you don't have it. It's only $10. And look at what it does. So they did gold, and I actually made this card in gold before. Do you see how pretty that is? I did the whole thing in gold. It's like so pretty. But today we're going to do silver. So you take your silver foil sheet. That's really um, a little crazy. But then look at when you emboss that, how pretty that is. And I embossed... Um, I embossed the white as well. And then I have a smoky slate and a stitched circle, white circle. And then just a thick whisper white card base. So we are going to make a beautiful card. So the first thing we need is just to, we can just start assembling this. So the smoky slate is five and a quarter by four. Yes, I am so happy I have her cards um, that she gave me. And when she passed away, um, we found a box of all the cards that I'd ever made her too. And like cards, you know, that we've given her over the years. So there is our smoky slate. And then I have, which shoot, on my original card I popped that up. All right, this one's all flat. So here's this. This is cool, but look at you could even use the back. It is just as cool on the back side as well. Um, I'm going to layer this piece right over here. So this measured two by um, whatever width that was. It'll be in the tutorial. So it's just like a two inch strip basically. So we're going to add some adhesive carefully to this and layer this on just like that so pretty I guess we could pop this one up so your card your card if you um, get this is gonna open up this way mine I cut it the other way so your card your version will be the 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 other way, I was thinking about having my card go this direction and then change my mind. So anyway, it doesn't matter. It still works. It's still pretty. But if you're when you get this, yours will be a little bit different. So we're going to add some dimensionals on this. And we're going to flip this over and put this on just like that. I know it's hard. I'll have, um, so pretty. Okay, our stitch circle. We are going to be stamping um, this. Hark the Herald Angels Sing. And we are going to grab a block and Smoky Slate ink. So again, if, if for some reason you, you have, um, you already have this or you have something similar, then feel free to use that. Um, if you, you know, order and get the kit, but it is a great stamp set if you don't have it. I love it, and I plan on doing a class with it um, before Christmas comes. Hi, everyone. If you're just hopping on, make sure you say hi, and we're going, I'm done with this ribbon. Why is this still out? Pop this little um, circle up. I couldn't think what it was called. We'll put two dimensionals on the back of this and we're gonna put this wow that that sheet of silver foil is blinding it almost looks like a mirror we're gonna put this off to the side and then we're gonna take our rhinestones we're just gonna keep them silver this time I'm gonna take one of the smaller ones I'm gonna put it in that little star up there 
and stick. Then I'm gonna take um, one of these ones here and then another little small one just like that. And there is that card. It's so fast and easy to do. This would make beautiful Christmas cards. Um, do you see that? There is our second card. That one was pretty quick. So there's that card. The embossing folder is the star of this of this card and that silver foil paper. Our silver foil paper comes in 12 by 12. You get two sheets for $5. It comes in silver, gold, copper, um, champagne. And then we have in the holiday catalog, the metallic brushed, um, the metallics also. So um, check those out and don't forget about that evergreen folder. It's, it's amazing. Okay, and I, I'm moving on to our next card, which we're gonna go back, shift gears to a stamp set that is, um, it is on sale and it is one of my favorites from last year. And so I, I know a lot of you probably already have this. So that's awesome. You can break it out. If you don't have it, you need to get it. I mean, like this is a need item. This snowman season is like the cutest thing ever. This is one of the stamp sets for 15% off. And it is just, look at these snowmen. They make me happy. We also have a coordinating punch. Um, in our big book. So it punches out the snowman, the hat, the arms, and the little nose. So you can um, stamp this guy and punch him out or just stamp it out in paper and like draw the little um, eyes or whatever on. So this coordinates with it, but this is on sale. And so we're going to make an easel card with this. So I made that nativity card last week and it was a lot of a lot of pieces but it wasn't hard but I'm gonna show you how you can make one like pretty quick so we're gonna do that with this stamp set and we are using Coastal Cabana and Whisper White pretty much so the first thing we're gonna need to do is we're going to score this one a little bit differently than we did last week by the way I am gonna be live um, tonight also I have an, a different project to show you this evening at 8 o'clock, so I hope you can come back here at 8 o'clock and watch my other project that I have for you. So we're starting out with Coastal Cabana. This is four and a quarter by 11, and you're gonna score it in half at five and a half, five and one half, and then half of five and a half I don't see that score mark, so I'm gonna do it again down here. So Okay, so five and a half, I think it's two and three quarters. Let's hope two and three quarters. Um, just like that. So there, we're gonna fold this, and then this part is gonna get folded like this. So this is gonna be like the easel part of our card. Let me show you what the card looks like. So this is what we're making. It's gonna pop up like this. Do you see that? Look at how cute he is. And there's snowflakes inside. So that's what we're making. Okay, so we have the base of our card done. You're gonna need two pieces of Whisper White that are five and one quarter by four, one for the inside and one for the outside. You're going to need another piece of Coastal Cabana. I will emboss this for you if you do the ordering special. This is with our new snowflake die. It is beautiful as well. It's with the snowflake stuff. Um, this is gonna layer onto here. Um, I cut out a stitched rectangle in Whisper White. And again, all your die cutting and punching will be done. And then we're gonna use this punch. I actually forgot, is it the story label punch? I can't remember. And then we just have two three quarter inch strips. So those are the pieces we need. And let's start assembling. You're gonna want um, Coastal Cabana ink for your sentiments and then a Memento Black ink pad, which mine, where is mine? Right here. So those are our ink pads. 
All right, I do want my foam mat. I got stuff going everywhere. Let's do the stamping on the inside first. So we're going to stamp um, a, some snowflakes in the corner. Hi, hi, thanks for hopping on with us. If those of you who just hopped on, um, I will show you a recap of all the cards at the end too that we made. And then there's always the recording as well. So we're just going to stamp a couple snowflakes on the bottom. This is for the inside of our card. So this stamp set has like so many cute pieces. And I'm gonna just clean this off real quick. And then we're going to, um, we're going to adhere this on the inside, just flat. I'm going like this. So our inside is done. Now we're going to be decorating uh, this part. So let's just adhere these two together. This is our snowflake embossed Coastal Cabana onto our other Whisper White. So we're going to put that together. And then to, um, so basically with if this is folded down, this is a, a regular card. It just has that extra score mark. And this would layer perfectly on the card. But since we have it scored, we're going to attach it only to this bottom panel here. So we don't want adhesive on the back here. So I'm gonna add just a few pieces along the bottom. And then I'm actually going to close it like a normal card and layer it up. So I know that it is position perfectly for me just like that so there we have it and see there's no glue on the back so now we have the start of our easel card okay on our stitch rectangle this is where we're going to stamp our adorable snowman and I chose um this little one and we're going to do him in memento because we're going to color his hat and scarf in with the blends real quick so there's not a lot of coloring but a little bit. And I'm going to stamp him up towards the top because at the bottom we're going to add a little, like a little banner there at the bottom. So stamp him up towards the top. So we have him up at the top. And he is oh so cute. Look at how cute that guy is. Oh my gosh. Snowmen make me so happy. Um, and you have to have the right snow to make a snowman. It can't be too fluffy. It can't be like too, too wet. It has to be the perfect consistency. I know that because I live in Michigan. Um, next on our little strips, we're done with the black, is we are going to um, gonna set him aside and we're just going to stamp our little sentiments on these three quarter inch strips. So I have one that's Merry Christmas and we're going to stamp that. These are both in Coastal Cabana ink. Just to coordinate it and make it simple. Just stamp it straight just like that and then I need to wipe it off. We're going to stamp the next one and this one says Hoping this season builds heartwarming memories. I thought that was cute. So we're going to move this down and stamp this like that. Okay. Whew. So we're done with our stamping. Now, we are going to set this aside and we're going to color in our little snowman real fast. He just has a hat and a scarf and a nose, so he's pretty simple to do. I pulled in um, a dark pumpkin pie for the nose, so we're going to um, just do that really quick. A little pumpkin pie nose for his carrot. And then we are going to use the light 
it is light Bermuda Bay because that is the closest I have to Coastal Cabana. It, it coordinates really, really well. So I'm just going to color in his hat with this. Again, there's like such little coloring and then these little stripes, which I need to, um, I don't know why I feel like I can't talk while I'm doing this. And then his little scarf. And on the tiny little stripes, I'm going to pull in a little real red because I just love that color combination. Who would have thought? Not me, but it looks really good together. You could use um, different colors if you choose. Okay, there we go. That's done. Now we just have a little, I have the dark real red. I'm just going to color in those little lines just to Give it a little contrast. I feel like I'm going to mess up. I don't know why. See, my internet like made me lose my confidence. Okay, there is his little scarf. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to take the light pool party. Can you see my little snowman? He's so cute. He's kind of a little plain, I think. So what I do is I have the light pool party. So it's really, really light. And I'm going to go along the bottom of this snow just to like highlight it a little bit. So just do a little this. And then I'm going to go on the side of him just like this. Just to give him a little highlight. And I did just like the littlest bit on his head. So... I know it's going to be hard to see on camera, maybe, maybe not, but there's just like a little bit of blue there um, just to highlight it. And then we're going to take the Wink Costella glitter brush because snow is sparkly and add a little bit of that. If you don't have a Wink Costella, you want to get one. I think it's like $8 and you can add sparkle without mess to everything, although that just put a blob on there. It'll dry though, but adds a little bit of sparkle. Okay, we're done with that. Now we're going to just finish putting this together. So I grabbed this uh, tag punch. This comes, ooh, sorry. This comes in a bundle or you can buy it separately. It's in our big, big catalog. And I'm going to use this to create a little banner. So I need to cut this other end off first. Where did my scissors go? Right here. So I don't even know how long this is, but I want roughly about that much on each end. So I'm just eyeballing it um, just like that. And then this will do three different sizes. It does a half inch, three quarter inch, or one inch. So I'm going to put it in here and it just slides in perfectly. I push it all the way down. Make sure it's all the way to the bottom. Punch gives you the perfect little tag. Do the other side and punch. And there is a cute little tag right there. So this is really fun and we have a banner one as well. So I love these little punches. Okay, this is gonna go at the bottom there, popped up and um, here we go. This goes here. And then we're going to put this on our card here. So again, a few more dimensionals. And then we have one more card. The last, we have one more card after this. And then I will show you all of them again. So this is just kind of going to go right in the middle like that. Okay, so now to get our easel to stand, we need something down here to hold it. So that's where this Merry Christmas comes in. And I'm just gonna cut it just straight across. You could make it a banner, you could use that punch again. I just cut it straight across. I'm going to add two dimensionals in the center. I'm gonna bring in this little punch I punched out in Coastal Cabana just to give it a little color behind. 
and put that on. I think it's the story label punch. And then we're gonna put two underneath here. And this is going to go down here. And so this little, I'm trying to center it. So this here is uh, what holds your card up. So it actually is like a little display. So people can like set their card out. If you want it taller, you can obviously just move this up higher. So, um, and then you can still open it up and write on the inside. But isn't that so cute? To finish it off though, we're gonna put some of these adhesive back sequins and a few rhinestones. So I will give you the snowflakes um, in your kit. So don't worry about that. You'll get some of these little snowflakes. I know some of you have them. I know I've included them in the past. But I'm gonna put three of them on. Actually, five. I put one down here on the tag and one on the other side of the tag. And then if you get your rhinestones in your kit, if you get your order up to at least 50, you know you're gonna get a whole pack of these little rhinestones. And then you can add a couple of the little small ones as well. And I'm actually gonna cover up a few of those little black dots. Um, we'll put three of these on, just like that. How, whoops, here's the card. Let me know what you think. So it looks like a normal card like that. Do you see the little sparkles? And then it sets up like this, a little easel card. It's so simple. So there is that. Here's the original one. Let me know what you think of that card, little snowman card. And now we're moving on to our last card for this little online thing. All right, this is gonna be a quick card. So there's that one. Okay, our last card for um, this is using, again, one of my favorites. It is called Dandelion Wishes. This is also on sale, 15% off. And I need to, I like it a lot because I like the fonts, sending while wishes your way, wishes for a lifetime of happiness. And I made a wish and you came true. And then there's um, these images. So this is a great one to have as well. And we are using Blushing Bride. Um, I th This is going to be a get well card. So I know sometimes like we have people that we need to send get well cards to. And so if you want to do this for a masculine version, just change out to like a different color. And then I have Basic Gray and Whisper White. No embossing, just um, this is, again, very easy. But we are gonna, I am gonna show you a new technique. So we're going to take a Block D. Okay, so you need a Block D. This is Stampin' Up! Block D. And I cleaned it. Let me rub it on my pants, make sure it's clean. Okay, it's clean. Then you're gonna take, we need um, Blushing bl ugh, Blushing Bride ink and basic gray ink. So we're going to do, I did this one time before where you like ink up the block to make it a background. Okay, so I did that, I don't know where it went. I did that, I was trying to make this card and just pressing this on the, and then right here, it was too dark. It was way, way too dark. So this is, this is my tip for you. Take one of our sponge brayers, this was brand new a few, like an hour ago, and you're going to roll it in the blushing bride ink. Okay, so and my ink pad is like brand new too. So it's really juicy. If yours is really dried out, you probably could just go directly. And now I'm just rolling this on my block evenly. I'm gonna add a little bit more ink. So just like this. All right, it, I think that's probably good. Now I'm going to take this. I am gonna huff on it for a second. And I'm going to stamp it more towards the top. And I'm just going, yeah, I'm using, I'm just going to hold it for a second. I'm actually going to leave it there. You can see the ink on it. It kind of looks like there's no ink on it at first, but there really is. And I'm actually going to lift this up and then like press it with my fingers all over the back. Just be careful if you do this so it don't like slide on you. But then you're left with um, a pink 
background if it would focus. I don't know what it's going on. And it's a little bit lighter. So then we're just going to take this image with the dandelion and I'm going to stamp that in basic gray. So just ink it up. And I need my little mat in case it goes off. I'm gonna uh, stamp this like that. And then we are going to get our words that say, sending well wishes your way. We're going to stamp that over here. So I would consider this pretty simple stamping, but I think it is a beautiful card. And this is an awesome stamp set. All right, so to assemble it, we are going to layer these two together, just like this. And then we are going to pop this up with some dimensionals. Again, you can lay, leave it flat if you want. This is just like such a pretty stamp set. I've made wedding cards with this. I have another sample to show you in just a minute of some cards. A lot of my samples are at my studio, so I don't have a lot of them. So there's that. It's pretty just like that, but of course we're gonna add some sparkles because I know you guys are gonna wanna get your order up to over 50 so you can get some rhinestones for free as a thank you gift. And there's our card. So isn't that so um, pretty? Sending well wishes your way. So there's our last card. So I hope you enjoyed them. Let me know what you think. What's your favorite? Again, if you place at least a $30 order using the host code, you're gonna get a set to make all these cards. Here's our little snowman easel card. Um, if you bump it up to 50, you are going to get um, the make and takes plus a package of rhinestones plus four of my cards that are already made up. And then here was our first card we did. So, wow, we have, this is really an all occasion class, which I miss doing at my studio, but I love doing here with you online. So there's the cards we made today. The replay will be up. Um, if you get over 50, you'll also get the tutorial with the directions and the pictures, measurements, all of that fun stuff. If you wanted to join my team and get on that, um, that's going on as well. What else is there? Hmm, I don't know. I can't think of anything else. Here is um, the Ridiculously Awesome stamp set is on sale. Here's a sweet little card made with that. Um, one of my favorite stamp sets is the umbrella card and here are some really fun cards made with that in a little box. So this is an awesome stamp set and then you can get the punch too that also coordinates. So I just wanted to show you a few of my favorite stamp sets that are on sale. Again, here is that my heart is grateful for you. We use that on the first card and here I use that same sentiment with that gilded autumn paper and I love that stamp set. I'm not saying that. I really do. Um, what else do I have to show you? Oh, here's another umbrella card. Just some bright colors. I grabbed um, these cards, which are dressed to impress. It has like lipstick, shoes, and perfume. And um, Karen and my team actually made these. But they are... Um, really beautiful cards. Look at this card. This card is amazing. She colored all those lipsticks. This card has some, um, sorry, this stamp set has some dyes that coordinate with it. So, um, but the stamp set is on sale. Um, this is a fun fold card that opens like that. So that's a stamp set that's on sale. Um, the zebras, zany zebras. I did a class on that earlier this year and there's all fun, cute little zebra cards. So don't miss out on the cute zebra set. So cute. I did a lot more, but I just grabbed a few to show you. And then we made this box. I believe that's a video I already did. Um, here is another zebra card. 
here is this was using the umbrella set it all got kind of got mixed up gorgeous posies it's a stamp set we have that coordinates with a kit however you can use the stamp set and make really beautiful cards on their own this is embossed in the back you can't see but the gorgeous posy stamp set is a really nice one it has a get well and it has some images and sentiments as well the goat way to goat um, I offered an optional class in my online retreat so the goat is always a fun one um, oh this one I can't think of the name of it but it has like some flowers it does have some die cuts and this blessed is like one of my favorite stamps so there's a few I can't think of the name of the stamp set but it's on sale so that's why I grabbed it <laughs> Um, this is actually heat embossed and watercolored. So there's that. This is another one I believe that's on sale. It's like the snow front scenes. And I just did the scene. It's all just like night of navy and white. And I put some glitter on there. Um, and then here is a car, another card with a dandelion. And so this is a light piece of um, designer series paper. And the ribbon's retired, but it's mint macaron. And so it's just layered on some circles. So anyway, there, those are some ideas with some of the stamps that are on sale um, for today only. The stamp sale is only for today. And so that's going to end tonight. So make sure if you want any of those stamp sets on sale that you snag them. Here is the host code if you want to get on, on uh, my ordering special. Um, for today and if you get over 150 don't use the code you'll still get all the goodies and you'll get the host rewards as well um, and then maybe you want to join my team um, thank you for joining me today this afternoon I'll be back tonight at 8 o'clock eastern time I have a totally different project to share with you then um, we're gonna finish online school and go to the school to pick up something real quick um, and make dinner and then I'll be back tonight. So have a great night. Thank you for sharing this and if you have any questions uh, let me know if you have any issues when you're trying to order and oh the ordering special goes until Saturday night so you have a few days uh, to get your orders in. However the stamp sale ends today. It's only today only. So have a great night every or great day. I'll see you tonight. Bye!